it's uh, Saturday morning, the 14th. Um, this is uh, the day I was uh, most concerned about because it's the longest. Um, and also, you know, fatigue will be kicking in, which uh, well, I had cramp for the first time yesterday uh, when I went to bed. I found it very difficult to uh, stay hydrated the day before. I was going from Glen Bay to um, Waterville without going via Car Savine. There's very little services. I was lucky that the post office at Master Geeky um, were <coughs> kind enough to fill my water bladder and help me finish off the journey yesterday, the last six miles. So 20 miles with just two litres of water ain't enough when the weather's like that. As you can see, it's much much cloudier today, which has got to be a good thing. Just come over that wee rise to the stile there, um, and now I've got a new vista. Uh, this is the point where I start heading more easterly. Her Daniel arrived a bit early, so everywhere's shut. So onwards we go. These things are quite cool. Um, they started back at uh, uh, Cahar Daniel with the planets and they've actually sort of positioned them as they would be relatively uh, relative distance to the sun. So we're now at Neptune. Um, they're getting further and further apart. 
I don't know if they're quite to scale, but it is. Uh, I think they might be actually. Uh, anyway, I like it. So you can just make out steam off in the distance. Uh, that's uh, definitely going to be a lunch stop. Looking forward to that. Just coming into Sneem now. Looks like there's a bit of a bike race on. Just uh, leaving Sneem behind now. Uh, had a nice big lunch there <clears throat> and uh, veggie burger chips and a couple of coffees. Um, restocked up in supplies. Feeling pretty good so having a walking break to let dinner go down a bit and uh, yeah feeling feeling confident about the rest of the day. I'm only just about halfway but uh, it's only 12 o'clock so plenty of time. say the waymarking continues to be excellent. I've hardly had to look at the map. That's in 2018. I know it can change, but right now it's uh, really, really good. Just started to rain, which is quite pleasant at the moment.
just crossed over the N70 um, back down uh, by the ocean now. came out and the sound of the, the waves there is a lovely lovely sound lovely little stretch that's right down by the water nice and peaceful I haven't seen very many uh, walkers today but they usually catch them up towards the end sort of later afternoon take note this would be a fine place to have a wee lunch break wee hostels along the route as well never even knew about anyway, going down here now this is a bit I haven't been looking forward to we go along the, the N70 for a stretch don't think it's too far but I don't like being by busy traffic I was that keen to get off that road, I just completely overshot my turning. It's like I just set out in fresh legs, I was going that quick uh, just to get off that road and I ended up doing about three kilometres along it. Uh, but uh, I've had a quick look at the map. Uh, this, this little lane's going to take me back on route up the hill here, so... Phew! Oops! Just so glad that's over. It's scary. Some people do, like long distance runs along roads like that. Don't get it at all. Went back on track. That's where I should have come from. Hey, yeah. This is more like it. Looks like the first two other Kerryway walkers of the day. Like I say, it's always at the end of the day that I see other walkers.
so Sunday morning just a short day to Killarney today um, only about 16 miles uh, leaving Kenmare behind there um, what a lovely place to stay last night So the route out of uh, Ken Mare uh, is pretty straightforward. Just head down to the main square um, and then it's a, a sharp left back up. Uh, once you're over the bridge, uh, sharp left back up uh, out of town. On this road, it goes all the way. It's the old uh, Killarney Road, apparently. Um, and just keep going straight along. It's a bit of a steep climb. So bear that in mind after your breakfast. Uh, take it easy. Um, you can probably just about make out Killar um, Kenmare down there and the water behind um, and I'm already, I've not even left the road yet and I'm already nearly up into the mist uh, so I don't think there's going to be uh, much point in going up Torque Mountain today but we can see. Uh, be optimistic for once. But yeah, I feel great. Uh, just shows you the difference. Uh, yesterday, having lunch and fueling properly, that's the secret with it all, isn't it? Um, it's far easier uh, to take a break partway through the day, have a proper feed, do a little bit of walking and then get running again. I guess that sounds pretty obvious, but when it comes to the actual practice, it's so easy just to keep pushing on. Anyway, uh, onwards into the mist. Thank <laughs> been thinking uh, I almost didn't come on this trip because there's I've got quite a lot going on at home at the moment but uh, what a waste that would have been I mean absolutely loving this uh, since I started okay there's a bit of nerves at first um, now I'm obviously enjoying my last day last easy day but it's just been beautiful and uh, I'm glad I'm still doing this sort of stuff just Need to keep doing it uh, for sure. Uh, absolutely brilliant, brilliant journey. What is this stuff? It smells, I mean, you can smell it as you're running by. I've just rubbed the leaves and it's absolutely beautiful. I have to look that up. That's the, the loop complete. Uh, 
three days ago I was heading down there and today back to Clarny back up through the oaks Torque Mountain behind me on the left. Um, don't see much point in going up there today. Um, had plenty fantastic views anyway on this journey, so I think a, a nice warm cappuccino at Gloria Jeans sounds good. to the smell of perfume and shampoo. It's a bit busier than it was the first time I came. 